Hey YouTube, it's Brandon Reichenbaugh here, student over at Jones Technical Institute. Today I'll be explaining the Jake Brake and what it does and how it works. Alright, start out here. We're on a Navistar motor. Already got the head covers off and everything so we can see all in there. What everything it looks like. Right here, this is your Jake Brake unit. It's a whole unit. You can see it's off there. I'll show you a better picture of it off the truck. Got one wiring harness, lifters, rollers, and then your bolts. All right, go back up on the truck here. Explain a little bit how this works. So basically, on diesels, there is no uh, no throttle body. So, shut, 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 shut. all right, guys. Back over here on the motor. Got this one all in place and everything. It's all adjusted. This is your main solenoid. It tells you when and how much exhaust brake you want. Most trucks have three settings: high, medium, low, and then of course your on/off switch. Usually your exhaust brakes is only activated under zero throttle or when the clutch is fully engaged and you're decelerating. The main purpose of the exhaust brake is to use exhaust gases from one cylinder to either remove them so there's no compression or to fill into another cylinder to create more compression to slow the motor down using its own exhaust gases. So what it would do like if you took your foot off the gas and you're going down a hill as this cam rolled around and hit this lifter it would open your exhaust valve as the piston was at top dead center compression releasing the gases of the exhaust before they can combust not allowing the piston to be forced down by the compression which is then just going to slow the motor down because you don't have this centrifugal force pushing the crank around and this all works in relation with your throttle and clutches and everything to make sure you're not your exhaust brake is not activating for no reason. Now another thing these do is they work with your turbo also on some trucks. Like on this one it has your exhaust brake in your head. And this one also has a butterfly flapper valve inside your turbo which is right here it's hard to see it but it's right there and what that would do is close whenever it's activated stopping exhaust coming out of the system back into the turbine and the motor to slow down the engine using the same thing compression to slow down the pistons without having to use your service brakes on the vehicle just helps with longer lifetimes of your brakes and things like that and that is pretty much Jake break. There's two types on this one and if you got any questions, let me know.